up here, Mom. Kylie, we don't drink and drive. 1877 mineral we water. We do not drink and drive, young lady. Working out right now. Look, there's all our little it's goaties. mineral water. Don't worry. Little goaties. See, all it has in it is so good. Hey guys, welcome to our video. It's Saturday here at Bar 7 Ranch. And first of all, I have to figure out how to turn on this four-wheeler because I never know. But we're fixing to get some work done. I'm going to help the boys. I think they have a goal. Uh, I think they have something for me to do while they're welding up some pipe. Okay, I think I do this. I don't know why I don't know how to turn this four-wheeler on every single time. Oh, and you have to have it in park or it won't start. Anyway, so come along because we're going to have a fun day. We got to get these feedlot pens built by Thursday because Cody's going to go get the cattle on our first load of steers to put in there on Thursday. So come along and see what we get done today. Okay, now I'm already in trouble because I didn't bring my hammer. Thought I picked it up. All right, I'm ready to learn. So what you're going to do is you're going to come around here and you're going to knock that out, hit it a couple times, both directions, and pull it out. So I need gloves too? No, probably not. Okay. Okay, don't do them all. That sounds pretty fun. I want to do it. All right, thanks. Get That's my all, job. Get it all the way around. Got it. Don't hit the concrete. Break the concrete. I got it. Right. Bob's still trying to find him a pair of sunglasses? I have no idea. He had to help me start the four-wheeler first. All right, I already had to take a water break, so we're going to go check and see what the boys are doing today before they get it all done. That way we don't miss it all. And then I'll get back to my hammering, sledgehammering. Let's get it right. So today they are cutting this H brace out, I think. So what are y'all doing today? What are y'all doing right now? So this, this old fence H brace right here does not need to be here. It's going to end up being in the middle of the pen. So we're cutting it out so we can pull them up and get them out of the, out of the fence. And uh, then we're going to be able to start hanging our post, our pipe. That, that torch is needing some adjustment because it ain't hardly blowing through like it ought to be. Acting better now. All right, to be continued. There she goes. Hey, babe. But what can I put my wood in? Huh? What can I put my wood in? What can I load it? Stack it up by the hay for right now until we can get we'll bring a little trailer over here and put it all on. It's got nails in it. Is that helpful or do, is that just moving it twice? Just moving it twice. Okay, well then I'll just leave it there. They're going to start tacking that together, but I just got the low down because I, I had went in the house to get a drink. Um, but anyways, this is a cluster right now, apparently, because the Cody didn't do it the way he usually does. So nothing's working out the way he wanted it to on this little corner here. And so they're making it, they're making it work, but it's not how he, if he had to redo it, he wouldn't do it this way, I, I guess is what I would say. 
So, but it's going to work. It's all going to be good. Not a lot of things are working right this week. So, <laughs> next week's going to be better. All right. So, they're well, they, they got this one welded up. And now they're working on this one over here. Bub's starving to death and ready for lunch. But Cody's like, let's hang this last panel right here. So they're hanging this last panel. But it looks like they've almost got it hung up. TikTok here in a minute about the dimensions because a lot of people ask about oh, yeah. how big they are. So once this is finished, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Thank you. Bolt cutters. My bolt cutters I was looking for this morning. Easy peasy. Good job. I know he needs to lift it up. It's a lot easy peasy. Go ahead. Easy peasy. Close. Okay, guys. So. The boys almost have this whole pin up. I've been helping them some and it's looking so good. I can't wait to show y'all. Um, but now Cody wants me to get all this wood that I took off from around the concrete that was poured and put it somewhere. And I'm like, where would you like me to put it? He said, I don't care, just put it in a pile somewhere so that we can get, get it off there so I can put the feeders on. And I'm like, well, so I'm just gonna move it so I can move it again later, right? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, well, that don't make no sense. Just tell me where to put it. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm currently moving wood that I'm gonna move, have to move again later. And I'm doing it by hand because they have every piece of drivable thing tied up around here in every trailer. So, but it's not really a hard job. The sledgehammering was the hard job. <laughs> Y'all keep ranching. Okay, back up here, Mom. Kylie, we don't drink and drive. 1877 mineral we water. We do not drink and drive, young lady working out right now. Look, there's all our little it's goaties. Mineral water. Don't worry. Little goaties. See, all it has in it is sodium. I'm a, I have bets that we're going to have babies from two goats by morning time. Uh, I say both of them. I say Venus and the one that we can't remember the name. Iris. No, it's know. not. I don't know what it was. I'm going to go back to the video now and have to find it because we've forgotten their names. Cause we don't really name a lot of animals. I like the lefty. I mean, not, not lefty. What's his poncho? name? Poncho. Did y'all do that on purpose? 
Maybe. Poncho? Poncho and Lefty. Yeah, we had Lefty and we named him Poncho because he's a little one. Okay, I was making yeah. sure y'all did that on purpose. Was it just a winky name or something? Alright, let's go over there to Dad. Cute little dog. No. Yeah, I guess I'll go. I need a ride. All right, I was inside for a minute, and y'all are not gonna believe what the feed lo lot looks like. But he's putting the bucket on the tractor now, so I guess he's gonna put some of this caliche rock around the feeders he just sat in. So let's go check it out, y'all. Are y'all ready for this? Are you ready for this? I feel like I have a microphone. All right, here we go. What? Look at that, would you look at that? This whole pen is done, just needs a gate. Babe, that looks awesome. Thanks, dear. Wasn't even here for the feeder setting yeah. in. Have called That's okay. Come film, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do on top of the feeders? What'd you decide? Um. So I think what I may do is I got some pipe over there. I think I might just put me a top rail between the yeah between saddle it. Um. I don't know where I'm gonna saddle it. The I think still I, out. I think I'll saddle. I think I'll cut two pieces and then saddle it on the piece going this way and put it here and there and then that'll keep all that tightened up and then um with that there then i i don't know what i'm going to put over here i mean that i might just drop another bar down right here and that would probably prevent anything from coming through so are you going to do that tomorrow like are we going to finish this tomorrow or what i don't know i hadn't made my mind up yet what's well, looking good you know what I might could do? You could just nearly run two pieces of pipe here and here, and that'd leave about a oh yeah a twenty inch opening for them to stick their head through. Stick their head through. I might try that with these bigger steers. I mean, I don't know that that would work for some four and five hundred pound calves, but some six and seven hundred pound calves, I think that would probably be enough to keep them from pushing through. So I, I may look at that and see if I've got enough. If I can make that work, I might just do that. But I know people are gonna ask, what are the dimensions? Here, or... why don't you hold this mic? Be better. Can I put it on there? It's not on there. I'm just so I know I'm gonna get asked the question because we have on, on a couple other platforms of what are the dimensions of these pins? So if you, uh, from that cross fence that goes right there, that pipe fence end, this pin right here is 80 foot long by 40 foot deep so it's 3200 square foot but down here on this end it's kind of there's a kind of a triangle added on to the end of it just to square up so we could keep everything by the water trough and where we can drive through here to get back there up so there's an extra 100 square foot in there so 3300 square foot in this pen um, and what you would like to allow is 250 to 300 square foot per animal so, you know, at 3,300, I can give them, I can put 11 steers in here. If I drop that down to 250, I think I can get 14. Is that right? 3,300 divided by 250, 13. So I can put 13 in there if I do that. So, so where, um, <clears throat> oh, keep going. what were you going to say? Keep finishers. Sorry. So that's the size of this pen. And then if we move down here to the second pen, This is actually a bigger pen, even though it doesn't look it. So it's 70 foot long and it's going to be 50 foot deep because it's going to go on the back of the fence that we have right here. Another 10 foot past that is going to be a little alley so that you can bring these steers behind this pen all the way over there to load them out. So it makes it be, makes it 50 foot deep instead of 40 because it won't, the alley will just start at the corner over here and go to the, across the back of the, this pen. I didn't realize that. Now it's all coming together for me. Now it makes sense? Yeah. So 
where are you going to run your water line and where is the water trough going to be? So if you come in here, you, you can maybe zoom in and see it. So the blue water trough. The blue water trough over there. I have water there. So Straight all I'm going to do is just tie into it. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just come under the fence there probably somewhere about. I'll probably just try to come right in through here somewhere. And then probably right in here somewhere I'll put a water trough. I may, I may actually put the water trough about right here somewhere. Put a double Miraco or what? A double Miraco water, yeah. A big one or that size? That size. I mean, that's supposed to handle like 80 cows, oh. 50 or 80 cows. So it, it'll be more than enough for... Gotcha. So in this pen, with it being 3,500 square feet, 3,500 divided by 250, I put 14 in here and 13 in there so 27 head i mean that's i didn't really if you know if i'd have went another 10 or 15 foot that away i could have got a bigger i could have got another calf or two in each one of these maybe two but i don't want to get too far down that down that little hill so before any of you environmentalists come after me and say well there's a creek there you don't want that stuff washing out this is a very, very seasonal creek. It hadn't run in three years until this, this spring. So um, so normally that's not running. And Nothing this, runs out of our steer pen anyway. Right. I mean, our other steer pen, it, does, it doesn't get out of it. I mean, so um, I'm, not, I'm not worried about that, about runoff or anything washing into the, you know, the, I'm not worried okay. about that. So, um, but yeah, that's, it's starting to come together. So. Here's a view from this way. So pretty much all we have to do to have calves in here, so um, we probably will not have the water trough in before the steers get here, but we can, we've can. we got enough temporary panels that we can set some stuff up over there where they can get in around there to that other water trough where the steers are at now. Let's walk over there and I'll show them what, what we got going over here. So when you do bring a trencher or whatever to do the water trough what are you how are you going to keep the steers like how what are you going to do or do you see that with the steers in here or what? well <coughs> we can just push them out and put them in the the little pen clancy's commercial steer pen for a half a day while we do that you know we can we can do everything over there first yeah and then push them out and then do this run this right over here so that big old pop out before you close all that in, honey. Uh, I just pick it up with a tractor. I've still got plenty of room to get in with a tractor. So. Are you going to leave that sand in there or move it out? Well, I don't know where I'm going to put it, so I might pick some of it up and put somewhere, but I ain't really got a place for it. So, we left this wide open like this for a couple of reasons. Um, this allows us to continue to go back and forth to this back pasture. If I'd have just put this, it would have been real easy just to make this part of the steer pen and then I wouldn't have had to move a water trough or add anything. But if I did that, then it would have rendered this little trap back here inoperable because there's no water back there when this little creek isn't running. So by doing it this way, this gate right here, and this gate will still stay shut. Then if we've got this big opening right over here that spans, this should be right at 20 foot between here. This 20 foot opening will have a set of double gates on it so that you can shut the gates behind you, Erica, open these gates, and then if you've got livestock in here, they can walk up here and water. Does that make sense? Yep. And then this will be the back side of the alley that turns and goes to the other pen. And whenever we want to bring cattle either to put in this pen or to bring out of there, we just shut these double gates, shut those double gates, and you can just push them around. When you're bringing stuff down the alley, there's not going to be gates right here? No. I mean, they when they come in here, that... Well, if they do, it's no big deal. I'm going to put a gate right in here that you can close the alley off with. What about, what is this right here? This is where, so we've got to put some little pieces of pipe on here that'll come over to here. And that'll finish, that'll be the end of this pin. And then this big opening right here will be a set of little double gates. So it'll probably be like a little, 
I think this opening is like 17 feet, so I'll probably put like a little four foot gate over there. I've got just a little scrap piece of panel that's right at about four foot over there. I can probably make me a four foot gate, and then that'll leave me about a 12 foot gate that when it's opened, this alley is 10 foot wide, it'll hit against this alley. Yeah. So if you're bringing, if you're unloading up there and bringing cattle in or you're loading out, that little gate will swing around to the inside. This little gate will swing over to here. You'll just bring them down the fence and they'll just turn and go. That's the plan anyways. Looks like a good plan. So. So that's the feedlot. That's, that's the, so that's half the feedlot yeah, so far, feedlot. but yeah. So this um, week on Thursday, you're hoping to get steers. So, uh, did, you, did we tell them that my pickup, the transmission? I don't think so. Okay, I don't so. Know. Um, we so had a bad week. <laughs> today's Saturday, and uh, last Saturday, Wednesday, yeah, well, no, last last Sunday. last Sunday we were getting ready to load. We were going to wean some lambs and take to the sale barn some ram lambs, and uh, Kylie brought the pickup down there, and, and so we could use it to call the sheep up. And in the process, when she went to put it in drive, it wouldn't go into drive. So I got in there and messed with it, and finally got it to go and move. And then, so we just scrapped the weaning the lambs. Second, Mon second time. Second time, yeah. <laughs> so Monday I got in it and drove all day, no problems. Tuesday got in it, no problems. Uh, actually hauled three or four loads of dirt, of dirt, rocks rock. and dirt, some road base that's up here that we're going to put down around the cattle guards and around these feed bunks. And then Wednesday, Wednesday I loaded the steers and I was e excited to be able to use our new set of scales and weigh them. So I pulled away from the barn here and went up there to the other set of pins where the chute is with the scales, got them weighed, loaded them, and it wouldn't move. I was sitting there on the Can-Am, and I was waiting for you to move because I, then I wouldn't have to reverse, you know? Right. And the minute I figured out what was happening, I was just like, I was like, oh. And then so, you put your head in your hands, and I was like, oh. So I, I finally got it to move from there, and I made it about a half a mile or a mile, and it just completely quit. So our good, our good friends, the Hollands, our neighbors, let us borrow one of their pickups to get the steers to the butcher. And then I called another friend of mine that has a wrecker service and got him to pick it up and take it to the transmission shop. And hopefully by Wednesday of the coming yeah, week, week. Um, we'll have it back because Thursday we're gonna go to a sale to buy some steers to put in here. So you might ask, why are we buying steers? Um, if you've been on our channel very long, you know that we don't keep mama cows year round because they don't, they're not profitable for us. Um, we buy and sell some replacement females like the heifers that we're calving out now the tiger stripe heifers that you might have remembered in the past that we were breeding and getting and selling them as bred heifers. Um, so I'm going to a, what's called a special sale that's verified cattle, where they come from. They've got a certain vaccination program that they have to adhere to. They've got to be weaned for so long. So I'm going to know who these cattle came from, how they were taken care of, how they were raised. Um, and I'll have the confidence of knowing that they're a good, good quality livestock to put in our feedlot pen. So that's what we're going to do and that's the beef that we're going to be growing to market to you guys if you're ever interested in buying some beef so um so it, it's actually if you buy from us you're supporting two families the family that raised it and the family that fed it so yep. um and you're just going to get some really good beef and before this like all the steers we fed out before were always from our good friend right and i guess my question that i haven't asked you is there ever going to be like does he ever foresee us being able to buy those from him I think so. Like right now, he's got some calves that are too little to go on his truck, and on the when he sells them to the he sells to a, a outfit called Forty Four Farms. They have a program called Prime Pursuits. Um, it's going to be the top quality beef that's going to be sold in Walmart. WalMarts moving forward. And uh, but he sells in truckload lots, so around sixty to eighty head at a time. And he's got a few calves that are kind of stragglers that won't fit those truckloads. You know, they're too little to go now and they're going to be way too big to go next time. So right now they're too little for us to put in the feedlot pen, but um, I think they're weighing about 400 now. So, but in August, if we get cattle in in March, at the end of August, we'll be ready to put some more cattle on feed. And I think he's got about eight or 10, 15 of those. And uh, we could we could get those and put them in here. So. What I, what, the way I'm terming that is locally sourced. We're looking within our, you know, a, a maybe a hundred mile radius of where we're at, finding good quality cow herds and cow men that are taking care of business and, and buying their, their steers from them. So, yep. All right, guys, that, we're going to close her out. We are going to close her out and we're going to 
Call it a day. No, I'm going to go work on the cattle guard up there. Okay, sorry. So, um, well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you got some questions about the feedlot or something like that, um, drop them in the comments below. We try to get to them. So if you if you see a bunch of questions and you got one and you don't get it answered, you might look to see if it's already been answered somewhere in the in the feed there. Um, we appreciate all of y'all. I think we're at about 240,000 subscribers, yeah. and we really, really appreciate you guys. We have a bunch of fun doing these. Yeah. Thank y'all for joining us. If you ever want to shop our merch, I know a lot of people ask about that because we like don't keep talk ranching. about it a lot on Let's YouTube. See. Like the Erica's Keep Ranching shirt. You got a Keep Ranching cap on? I got my Keep Ranching mustache cap on. earrings, the, key, the bar sevens maybe? Yeah. And we have Keep Ranching earrings. Coffee t-shirts onesies for kids for babies all kinds of stuff so check that um, out at bar 7 merch.com if you if you want if you want something like that it's cool yep. and uh case pocket knives are in there so check it out and uh y'all keep ranching and we'll see you next time